Hey folks, Mike here with Price Plow. It's the moment the entire internet's been waiting for. Does leucine really induce ketogenesis? Welcome to Price Plow. And so what I'm gonna do here is take five grams of Nutribio's 100% pure leucine and then wait 45 minutes. I am fasted for over 10 hours right now. We're gonna wait for uh, 45 minutes and then retest my blood glucose and blood ketone levels. We've already seen that isoleucine uh, took me up one day a little bit, took me down one day a little bit, which is kind of indicative of, uh, you know, it is both ketogenic and glucogenic. And so what we're eventually gonna do is try to make the perfect BCA ratio for me, at least. And so let's start off by uh, testing my fasted glucose levels. I will state that I had quite a lot of uh, ribeye steak last night and possibly too much protein yesterday. So let's find out if I knocked myself uh, into trouble zone here. 82 fasted blood glucose levels. That's pretty good where I want to be. Starting ketones. You should have seen this ribeye. Grass fed, made it on the Himalayan salt block. Yeah, I suspected 0.7, still above 0.5, so we're good to start this uh, this endeavor here. Let's see if the uh, leucine here can pull me a little bit out of that funk factor and uh, get me deeper into ketosis. Five grams of leucine in the spoon on the dot. All right, we saw isoleucine uh, make me cry last time, so this doesn't smell too good either. Here we go, I have my water on the ready. That is way better than isoleucine. I'm not saying it's great. Actually, I kind of like it for some weird reason. Isoleucine was terrible. This is got a weird, I don't know what, you, you can't describe these flavors, but it's, um, I don't know. I can see this like a cheese lover kind of almost liking this. All right, so that'll do it. Today's t-shirt is my Man of War shirt. You know you love it. The kings of metal. I'll be back in 45. Back, any kind of movement? Blood sugar comparing to 82. Oh, ho, we went up a little bit. Not sure if that's due to leucine or just things fluctuating. Let's find out where my ketones are at. We're gonna compare that to 0 0.7. Whoa, that's a serious spike. Five grams of leucine put me up 0 0.5. That's like more than MCT oil and probably a lot cheaper. Obviously, we're gonna have to try this again tomorrow but that's a lot more than the drop I ever had from isoleucine. Really, uh, and we'll find out valine's the next one we're gonna do, uh, but then that'll start two days from now. But tomorrow, we're gonna confirm to see if this really works as well. But overall, it looks like uh, the science deniers are wrong and leucine is indeed ketogenic, at least for me, and it seems like it will be for pretty much everyone who's uh, nearing or in a state of ketosis. Let's find out tomorrow. Continuing our study of one on leucine, same time, same place as yesterday. Glucose, 87, man, I'm creeping back up. Better get myself back in check. More green veggies prescribed. Day two, starting ketones. Another 0.7 day, above 0.5, so I'm in ketosis, I've been better. Five grams of leucine measured out, made a bit of a mess in this one. All right, here we go. And I do have a Nutribio. <laughs> Shake your cup full of water to help me out with the Nutribioleucine. Oh, I handled that better this time. The aftertaste is, it's not good, but it's, I like it. It's weird. So, um, the isoleucine was way worse. Anyway, we'll be back in 45 minutes and, uh, we'll finally sum up how this happens. But yeah, last time was 0.5 spiking ketones. So let's see if, uh, we replicate that again. Here we go. We're back. Got it going already. 76, a nice blood glucose level drop. And that's kind of where I want to be when I'm fasted. So it goes. I don't know if leucine actually helps drop blood sugar, but a lot of times when you take the exogenous ketones, they are noticing in the studies that, a, uh, that the blood sugars do go down. And that could be for other reasons though that aren't related to, to the ketones themselves. So let's just see what happens. Final test. 
All right, 0.9, that's a little bit more what I expected, a small but nice rise in ketone levels. So we had 0.2 one day and 0.5 yesterday. And so in general, uh, to me right now, it looks like if we have a two to one to one leucine to isoleucine to valine ratio, and I haven't done valine yet. So it looks like overall branch chain amino acids are hopefully going to be, even in a two to one to one ratio, are going to be more ketogenic than glucogenic just because leucine seems to be quite powerful in doing this. And so uh, no matter what, I'm gonna, I've am gonna i been enjoying these. I actually train with these alone right now. And uh, I think I'm gonna be able to use all three BCAs, but the only way to find out is to move on to the next video, which is gonna be valine, and then we're gonna start tinkering with all three of them. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to NutriBio. You can check to see if this lot number has a third-party lab test, but unfortunately it did not at the time of posting this video. And so, but thanks to NutriBio for providing the, the well-tested, pure, 100% pure leucine. And, uh, and you could use checkmysubs.com to check all the lab tests and see if that lot number brought up and brings up a test because they're kind of going retroactively into uh, some of the older tests and getting them third-party tested. But uh, the future tubs, you know, will be tested. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. Subscribe to the channel and let's see what happens with the rest of the BCAAs. And you can check the older videos in this playlist to see the other things I've been messing with, including the isoleucine file, which I'll link back to. Thanks again. Welcome to Price Plow. <laughs>